get an enter the seasoning that would be added when we are about to pan sear this chicken breast because my chicken was pre-seasoned with some green seasoning the link for that green seasoning will be in the cards above and also the end screen click the bell for new i am going to debone the chicken breast and then cut it into a, the typical butterfly shape so now i am going close to the rib there and removing the meat from as closely to the rib as possible and making sure that I don't actually tear up the fibers too much because I also want to give this a few little smash with my meat tenderizer again not to also mash up the fiber in the meat so as you see here I am cutting the meat off of that bone and then once the meat is totally removed from the bone, I am now going to butterfly this piece of chicken, lay my hands on top of it to keep it sturdy. And I am going to cut this piece of meat into two. As you can see, this is not a very big piece of breast, but once you have a sharp knife, and that is the most important thing when doing any type of cutting your meats, you must have sharp utensils. So I am going to cut this in, but you're not going to cut it straight down because you don't want to cut it all the way. You don't want to cut it across. You just want to open it out, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to open it out without going through the meat. All right, and I am going to give it some smash with my meat tenderizer, but I'm just showing you what it looks like after I cut it open. Let me just show you the thickness and I'm still going to take my meat tenderizer as I mentioned and break it down a little bit. So I did that with the meat tenderizer and I added some extra little herbs and spices to it. You season to your desired palate. And to my pan, I lightly put some coconut oil and I'm going to cook it on each side for five minutes on medium low heat. And once it is cooked on each side for five minutes, I am then going to place it into a foil and seal it and let all the natural juices and everything continue to cook and, and flavor that piece of meat. And after about five minutes of letting it sit, you can see all the natural juices to the surface of this meat. Clearly, you can see it and it is really cooked and it is not thick it is at perfect thickness and it is cooked through and through and very flavorful and i garnish with some pepper flakes i also had this with some flatbread that i made and i just sprinkled some mustard and a little bit of ketchup and i had that also with some flatbread so that is how i made this delightful meal